If you're making a career out of routing and switching, you've arrived at the right place because in this nugget, you and I are going to examine the most popular routing protocol, internal routing protocol that is, on the planet. It's open shortest path first. And it's really neat that we're covering this one first because it won the battle between itself and ISIS. Think of a kind of a cage fighting match. And that's what was going on between those that were wanting OSPF to win out as the interior gateway protocol that companies would use. And there was plenty of people fighting for intermediate system to intermediate system. If OSPF won, you might wonder, well, why are we going to be covering a course in ISIS? And we'll be doing that next, of course. And, and the the answer is, well, some service providers are still using ISIS for their internal routing protocol. It's really a pretty cool protocol, and we'll be examining that in detail. But I'm getting ahead of ourselves because OSPF is what you and I are here to master, and it is quite complex itself. So we'll be looking at a lot of topics in great detail. And just like other courses in this series, we'll really take a look at the conceptual information about OSPF and notice how complex it is. Notice how much there is for us to discuss there. I'll tell you something else. We need to configure and troubleshoot it together. And the configuration will be done in my style. We'll do our hands-on lab nuggets. And these will be very easy for you to follow along with step-by-step. Step. Maybe you're up in junosphere.net with your virtual image in the cloud. Maybe you've got your rental equipment. Maybe you've gone out and bought used Juniper equipment that you've set up in a lab, or maybe you're in your enterprise, you have a lab that you can use filled with equipment. However you're going to do it, you'll be able to follow along and configure watching right over my shoulder as we make best practice OSPF configurations on the Juniper equipment. Remember now, when we cover the th conceptual information, this is going to be valid for no matter what device you may be on. So if you're on an HP router, if you're on a Cisco router, you would very easily be able to take the information from those concepts and apply it to the appropriate configurations on those devices. So are we going to get in-depth on the theory? Yes. Are we going to do intense hands-on lab work together? Yes. And also what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to create electronic flashcards that go along with this course. These will be located in the Nugget Lab files when the course is complete. In fact, in the very next nugget of this course, I'm going to teach you how you get the software to run the electronic flashcards, how you put the electronic flashcards into that software, how you can set up the options for for you to view those electronic flashcards, so be sure to check out that very next nugget. I'll also run through and give you some pop quizzes and some review materials as we work together. It's like we're learning a new language when we study OSPF, so we need things like quizzes and flashcards to really help us with the new language that we're learning. Now, most students have told me to really ensure their success, they watch the nugget and they take handwritten notes on the nuggets. Pretty cool. And then what they'll do is they'll go back at the end and they will re-watch particular nuggets that they might be struggling with a bit. And they will take my flashcards at that point and they will add to my flashcard set. So I'm giving you basically a starter set of flashcards and you're going to be able to add to those very easily for information that you found important, information that you want to be flashcard tested on. So this is a powerful formula many students have reported success with. Well, I'm sure you can detect it in my voice. I am super excited for this class. I'm super excited that you are joining me for our journey through the really complex and exciting world of OSPF, an interior gateway protocol that has taken the world by storm, and you'll see why as we move throughout our discussions of it. I sure hope this nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.